Hello there, this is Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. I heard a word, and I don't use this word, but I sat here and I just heard scallywag. And I, <laughs> I'm trying to remember if one of Tasha's cards has that word on it, but I heard scallywag. So I went to look it up because to me it sounds like something pirates say. Um, someone who does evil deliberately, a wicked or evil person, a white southerner who supported reconstruction policies after the American Civil War, usually for self-interest. Uh-huh. A scamp, a rascal, a white southerner who reported the Republican Party and its policy of black emancipation. Scallywags were viewed as traitors by their fellow southerners. Okay. A rascal. Okay. That's what I heard. We're going to see how this plays into the reading. Maybe that's something another person called somebody before. Maybe that's what they refer them to. But uh, we're going to see. We're going to catch a vibe here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully my lights hold up. I am going to get another... Um, I know I smell sweet, but damn, I think that was a fruit fly, y'all. <laughs> I'm probably going to get another uh, charger head for these lights so that they don't burn out. Let's see, what do we have for the collective? Something don't feel right. I do feel that, okay? Something don't feel right. Something don't feel right. Let me get this right. <clears throat> the lovers. That's choices. <clears throat> I'm hearing a pull. We have the two of wands. We have the nine of cups. The sun. Wow. Queen of Pentacles, Eight Wands, Knight Wands. You see, I see a lot of progressive energy. It's like someone is very clear about a direction they desire to go down. Someone is very uh, positive here, okay? It's like it would be my ultimate wish fulfillment to make this choice, to pursue this path. Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Sun. There's so much bliss in having a sense of direction here. The lover speaks of choices in love, perhaps, or just choices in general. The two of wands kind of gives me that sense of direction as well. And making a decision that makes one feel fulfilled and happy. Very clear here. Nothing but smiles here in these cards. It's unbelievable. The lover. Someone is choosing their happiness or choosing what makes them happy in general with the sun. The lovers. Wow. Gemini. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. There's something about their future. Someone is making a choice that makes sense for them and their future. The Three of Wands is like foresight, what I want to have materialize. They need strength for this. It's so funny that I said scallywag. <laughs> this person's on a ship. With the Ten of Pentacles, somebody could be visiting family. Ooh, that almost went really bad. <laughs> I do not want these cards to fall. Somebody could be visiting family, okay, or visiting someone's family, meeting family, um, meeting new additions to the family. I get a vibe of like a person recognizing themselves in another as well, okay, like, oh, this is me when I was X years old or, hmm. judgment Oof. i also see a final decision that's going to affect a family okay 
this yes decision the lovers is back something is going to affect maybe someone's bloodline someone's family structure someone's i don't know if someone here has something protective around their house as well i'm seeing these weird things <laughs> They look like ornaments, but they have crystals attached to them, and they're just hanging from the ceiling here in this card. Um, and I thought of, like, protection. With judgment to the lovers, something directly affects a person's future, level of abundance, stability, and family life. I feel for the better, or that's the intent here. Judgment. It's, it's final. This decision will change someone's, maybe, bloodline. I mean, when people procreate, their DNA is like, I mean, obviously that affects <laughs> your, your bloodline. Anyway, let's, let's continue. This is kind of interesting. Judgment. Feels pretty big here. Seven cups, four cups. Yeah. You see, this didn't come easy. Someone had to figure out other options. Someone had to figure out what they don't want. The Seven of Cups, even in this card, she's like, what about these cups that I can't really put my finger on? I'm not really sure. I have so many options. And in the Four of Cups, this man looks less than impressed with, other, with specific offers. It's almost like people need to get clear on what they want by sometimes experiencing what they don't want. Okay. I really feel that. It's like, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. The Four of Cups is disinterest. You even see this person's face is like, well, no thanks. Do you understand? And some of these cups or offers were probably very well presented. Okay, someone here wasn't short of options at all. Okay, it's like if you, whoever this is, they weren't short of options. But they're selecting one that makes sense to them and their happiness. They were confused before about the same decision they're making. Someone here could have also gotten advice from like a friend to pursue an option that didn't end up working out. The Six of Cups wants to come out. Nostalgia, memories. Something could have represented their childhood as well or represented how they used to grow up or... Something here was a representation of their past. Tell me more about judgment. This judgment feels like a big deal. It feels like, okay, this is it. Like, you can't come back from this major life decision, two of cups, to partner with a person. And what did I say about, like, you DNA swapping? Hey, oh, what kind of reading is this? Wheel of Fortune. It's a positive coming together. It changes someone's fate for the better. I don't know how to explain it other than this union is ordained because i'm like this is a big deal why is this to me this almost looks like an angel right um judgment is usually depicted as an angel on the card the divine is like yes we approve of this union um for it to become the ten of pentacles and i don't know how to explain that other than exactly that way and someone needed to get clear like it's almost like other options didn't really feel right because I see this person like, no, I don't like this. I don't really like that. Let me think twice about it. But the two of cups will feel very right. It's like, oh, yes. And it's like, you see now that that is what brings you this future. I feel this, this is subject to like families merging or um, something like that. The two of cups. Damn. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is a good pairing of two people. Tell me more about the Two of Cups of the Judgment. Um, this could be the resurrection of something, but I feel there's some kind of opportunity that is um, presented in this pair. King of Coins, wow. Seven of Wands. Someone here is maybe defending something. This is, I felt an opportunity energy. I'm seeing the King of Pentacles. So this is someone who wants to show up as a dependable, reliable, stable partner. The King of Pentacles is very grounded. It's like, you know, I, I plant my roots and I stick around for the long haul. This is a stayer, okay? So somebody here wants to present themselves um, the way a husband or a wife would, or a parent, or like a partner. I feel more partnership here. The Seven of Wands is like, I will fight for you. I will fight for us kind of energy. 
very grounded here, whoever this is. This person might have a lot of abundance when I see the King of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, but there's something very reliable in this person that shows up here. This is one of the characters I'm hearing. We have nine wands that wanted to come out. Eight swords. Someone here has to break out of a lot. Nine wands is like, I can't give up. Tell me more. Death. Something changed here. Something had to end. Either this person's lifestyle, this person themselves, a situation. It fell closely to us, the seven of cups. A confusion around what is best for them was subject to change, okay? I also feel like maybe there's someone in their life that they don't see the same because in the reverse, you see a woman's face in the upright, it's just a skull head. So I feel like there's somebody here in this person's life, okay, that changed, that there's something that changed them drastically to align them for this partner. Death and transformation, it didn't come easy. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's like that, that's what restores their path again. Something needed to end. Talk about the death card. This could also be a lifestyle, a habit, six of swords. Yeah, transition. There was a transition. It's from point A to point B. For some of you, there's circumstances needed to change. Okay. For some of you, this change didn't come without a lot of lessons here in the six of swords. Um... It almost feels like a getaway, the Six of Swords. You see how she has like her backpack. It's very dark here, but it's heading into like brightness. Tell me about the other partner here. We have the King of Pentacles. Who else is around? Four of Wands. This person wants marriage. Queen of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Someone here wants to present a person marriage. The person they want to present marriage is not married. Okay, Queen of Wands is never a married individual. They're not. They're very bright, um, attractive. There's something about a spark here. Whoever they are approaching is going to like... I see a spark in terms of the excitement. There could be two people rooting for this person. I'm seeing two men here beside this King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. There could be two friends rooting for this masculine to obtain this Queen of Wands. There is excitement here. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, yeah, go, go ahead, go do it. There is a level of excitement that these two friends, I feel, they're rooting for. It's almost like this is the catch. Four of Wands is commitment, um, something exclusive, something stable. There's, there are people rooting for this. And it's like, this is somebody who's part of that Wheel of Fortune, who's part of that fate, fated situation coming together. <clears throat> Strength, we could have a Leo. I'm hearing the words encouragement. Yes, two of wands to become a queen of pentacles. There's encouragement here. Somebody here needs to be courageous to set out here this intention. Two of wands is like a path I'm picking to make this person a queen of pentacles. I don't feel like the person they want to partner up with has ever been married before. I can't say, but they're single. I do see single energy for sure. Okay, tell me more about the strength card. Courage. Page of Wands. For some, the courage is to communicate. Page of Wands is like a suggestion. It is a bright idea. It is excitement. It could be a text with justice to balance out the scales. Hmm. Anything else you need to know about this? I feel this is some, yeah, the lovers is snapping again. These are soulmates, y'all, that make each other very happy. I feel like this person will be surprised to see how positive this individual reacts to them. Coming forward, the lovers, Gemini, the sun, Leo, twice. We have the goat man here the tower whoa this is causing something else to completely get obliterated my question is what is that it's like this choice completely obliterates a level of toxicity in someone's life so let's say 
to even make it to this point where this person can transition and move forward with this this partner that brings them this stable, grounded, abundant, emotionally fulfilling future. Mouthful. Um, something something gets uprooted first, and I don't know how to explain. It could be a lifestyle. Let's say they can move forward to that person if they don't let go of their hangups. Maybe they have addictions. Maybe there are certain things that. I mean, obviously needed to be put to bed here. Things that brought haze, confusion, dissatisfaction. It's like, who has time to, you know, be up in the air about seven cups when I could move forward in this way? There's some kind of confusion. It's almost like whatever tainted this person's sense of direction is getting obliterated with the devil to the tower. How does that work out? King of Wands. Ooh, this this character was here yesterday, huh? Temperance. I've never seen this card. Can I remember the King of Wands? Five of Swords. There is a there is a traitor, y'all. <laughs> there is a traitor. This King of Wands. It almost feels like two men. Five of Swords wanted to come through. Jealousy. A friend of theirs could be jealous. There could be a, a masculine energy who practices witchcraft. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay? <laughs> the magician to this King of Wands to that Five of Swords. It's a person. There's a person they can't trust. Why is this energy here? Why is this energy back, rather? Because I really feel like this was a similar energy yesterday. They're the ones having a tower. I'm telling you. And word is going to catch quickly. It's like as soon as somebody moves forward, it's a tower for this person who wanted an opportunity here. Now, I don't know if they are, because I'm telling you now, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting. <laughs> you see, the four wands in this image is, this can even be seen as like a pair I don't know if this person had their eyes set out on a golden opportunity or there's something here that their little bubble gets burst. They feel maybe that this person is is going against bro code or you're supposed to be with me as a friend forever, like bros before hoes, or this person's jealous in some way, or this person thought they'd have a come up. Like I'm telling you when this person makes a conscious choice to move forward. I don't know if this friend of theirs is, is low-key into them like that but i just feel this really weird like why is it such a shock to you they're the same sex okay let's start there the, they're friends i feel either that or this is someone who wanted that queen of wands okay it's like there's something here where they don't show up the way they need to in order to obtain the ten of pentacles with with a feminine of that nature like there's something here with this person their ego is shot yo and i don't know why there's a there's a masculine energy here whose ego gets shot because this king of pentacles is making a solid offer to a queen of wands i don't know if this is somebody that they that used to date i don't know if the woman or the feminine used to date this king of wands but it's a blow it's a blow to their ego you know tell me why is it a blow to their ego what do they want from this situation are they just jealous ten swords good gosh the, the defeat here is insane what did they want it's like they can't come back from this emperor in the reverse they wanted to either outshine them overpower them this is a blow to one's ego big time. Big time. Oh my gosh. The tower, ten swords, emperor in the reverse. Something was indicative of like a power struggle almost. It's like... <sighs> I'm hearing things that I don't really want to repeat. It's like... It's like who's got the bigger balls? Who's got the bigger, you know? Some mm, it tastes like a person who had something to prove to themselves or another individual. 
there's something very macho in this emperor in the reverse, a level of toxic masculinity, okay? Someone takes a huge blow to their ego when another individual secures, I feel, a feminine energy in matrimony, okay? It's like, I got what I need. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this could be a baby father who is watching another man step up in the, their woman's lives or in their baby mom's life. Because I'm seeing this page of wands with this king of wands. For some, this, this, this could also be like a friend of theirs who, has, who is a father to a kid. Um, I definitely see that parental energy here in multiple ways. But there's something, it just reads like, wow, you got that person or you, st you, you step up in a way that I couldn't. Um, it's in the energy as well. But there's something here is also like a power struggle. Like I want to prove that I'm, I'm that person. It's giving <laughs> King Kong, you know, big D energy. It's giving, I have Emperor in the reverse is like an abuse of power. Somebody here abuses their power. They might be very forceful, very arrogant. And, and as soon as this person secures something so beautiful, I don't know if someone here also is like, there's a business here that they that kicks off or something successful gets announced. It's like one thing after the other, after the other, elevates for one person and it's 10 swords for another. This person feels so defeated. Their ego is heavily shot. And I don't know why. It's like, is this a friend? Is this, a, is this someone who wanted something to prove to another individual? It's like, why does it hurt this bad? And they're the same sex. I feel like the same sex, y'all. It's like, it makes this person feel so small. And I feel like that bitterness here. It's like, how dare you? And if this is their friend, yeah. They didn't want their friend to succeed beyond them. Because it's like, I want to be the bigger man. Yeah, I want to be the bigger man. <laughs> It's just way too much uh, toxic masculinity in the air here for my liking. It's like, sit down. <laughs> just sit the fudge down. Uh. Somebody here could also be a drinker. Someone here could also find out that a person got another one pregnant or they're, I'm telling you, this Ace of Cups with the Five of Cups is like this news. It's like, you did what now? They're expecting what? It almost reads like, I mean, let me take the example of, of, a, of a man stepping up and uh, wifing a woman who was, hmm, who had a kid with this man. And it's like, wow, she's expecting from you now and you're marrying her, all the things. I don't know. <laughs> That's just one example in here. And there's something here, it's like something someone does that a person couldn't step up to do themselves is in here. And you can flip genders, but I feel a level of defeat. Like, but I was going to go in. I was going to go in for the kill. I was going to go in and try to impress that person. Here you are, like, who are you? You know, it's like fallen king energy. There is a fallen king here. And I always, you know, <laughs> vouch for masculine energies. I always have faith in them. I always like encourage, you know, healthy masculines. But this one is a fallen king. This one fell from grace. I feel a long time ago in a way where this L they're taking, watching someone else be reliable, stable, grounded, and step up in such a nice way. I'm telling you, this is someone who's like, I have your back for the long haul. I'm a stayer. I describe this one as a stayer. And then you have this bitter ass... Brute. It smells like a brute job. <laughs> okay, it's like, yo. And it defeats something in this person's lineage of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, yo, my lights. It's tethered to this ten swords. It's like, this could have been my family picture. Instead, I'm on the floor writing in pain because this person is taking my position. Like, Something, I'm getting chills. Someone is literally getting replaced because they didn't do the things someone else can and will. It feels like a swap. You ever saw the show Wife Swap? 
or a life swap. That's what I'm feeling. And it's almost like they have to just sit there and watch their maybe kids, family members have this like, it's so thick here, guys. It's like the divine is doing this. And you figure it out. That's literally what it feels like energetically for sure. It's a fallen emperor. It's a fallen king. It's a fallen queen. Because I see this woman also falling from the tower. And here this looks like a woman. It could be a woman or a man. There's something about toxic masculinity being present. That is not being like accepted or put up with anymore. And you have women who have toxic masculinity as well. It's like they don't allow a man to just be a man. They have to like constantly overpower and, and claim dominion over a masculine. This is a healthy masculine. This is one that you can just sit back and lean and say, you know what? This one's got me. I'm okay. No, there's, there's toxic masculinity here that is getting defeated because it's feeling replaced. And that's the best way I can describe it. There's rage here too. I see bully, Debo. Okay, let's see. This person is not okay. Yes. Somebody here could literally be drinking at the news of someone's pregnancy here. I'm seeing somebody like depressed. Okay, with this Ace of Cups being a thing. Be mindful, y'all. Be mindful who you allow in your space. Yeah, there's definitely a hater here. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have hater and we have the man there's a hater here who's not the man okay. mm -mm -mm. you thought so you thought my guy not, no you are a man but not the man i'm just teasing y'all <laughs> i don't know who's who this could be someone's baby dad y'all i'm sorry i said what i said this could be someone's ex okay let's say this is somebody you married this emperor Ooh. i'm also getting the energy of someone who could have played like a boss or some kind of like but they're a corrupt boss anyways Ooh. <laughs> give me some energy here you the hater kept wanting to come out. Big, big man. Hater, hater, hater. Mm. And they have to just sit there and watch you. Oh, wow. How embarrassing. All right. Bottom of the deck. We have washed up. Fell off. Bummed out. Used and abused. I have marshaled, evicted, homeless, and shelter. So I'm getting this vibe of like lack of stability in general from one of these people. There's someone here who's like maybe uses their looks because the King of Wands can be very charming. That energy was here yesterday. Attractive, clean cut, a younger guy. I just feel more immature, okay? This is the kind of person that's like, oh yeah, I need to look good for the da 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 You know, those little swag things, yeah. It's giving... Yeah, you know, you, you present yourself nice, but that's all you got going for you. I'm sorry, I had this energy yesterday. Yes. It's like... <laughs> I'm just like feeling this thick level of secondhand embarrassment, okay? Um, I plucked this card earlier, like, I think it was yesterday I saw this card. It says whack, right? It says bad sex, terrible, and garbage. But I'm looking at this image, how it looks like someone is pulling something aside. It's like, let's really figure out who you are in this situation. It's almost like the divine is showing a person, yeah, this is really what you had in this person. Somebody here could be very good with their words, but they're not reliable. Okay, scam artist trickster tells you what you want to hear. As I say, good with your words, right? But they're really whack. And I say that with love because it's like, Someone else who is certified is showing up for the position. And the divine did that on purpose because they had, I'm, he I'm hearing enough time to show some somebody a different experience. You've had ample time to show somebody that, you know, you're, you can be a leader that's not corrupt. You can, you can use your power in positive ways. No, this was a charming person, but there's no, there's nothing reliable in this partner. 
And here's somebody looking healthy, taking care of themselves, who's certified for the job, right? Let's say this is like a position somewhere. I feel like this is a position in someone's life, honestly, because it affects their abundance, their family lineage, their DNA, everything. This hater, okay, is jealous, envious, and they're quite petty. But when I tell you something gets secured where it's like, no, this is my partner. No, I'm family now. This is my long-term partner now. It, it, it puts this person in a tizzy. I also feel somebody here could be very good looking. That queen of wands could be very good looking. Um, it's like they want that. It's like there's something here a person wants as well. And it's like, well, they're good looking. So there's jealousy here. <laughs> and there's a lot of it here. Okay, it's like, dang, dang, five of wands left behind. Any last words here for this last reading? Because, <laughs> second hand embarrassment, seven of wands, yeah. Someone here, you know what, an angel, I'm seeing an angel, an angelic presence is like, F what you thought, okay? I'm protecting this future. I'm seeing the temperance angel again. It's it's giving me a vibe of like, how do I balance this out? Someone is literally like, I'm just seeing a doll. It's like they were so comfortable being a brute, obnoxious, full of themselves, arrogant, abusing their power, man or woman, okay? It's like they were so used to being an a-hole, it's like they didn't think that the divine would alchemize this ish and just be like, okay, you thought, you thought this angel, temperance angel is fighting. I don't know what this is, brother, but it almost feels like ancestors or it feels like, no, we're not going down this future, this our, our future, our lineage, our future is on the line. And this person needs to get exiled. I really feel the energy of a fallen king or a fallen queen. Somebody here might fall from grace. I don't know how that happens other than it's like this ego blow. There's no coming back from it. Like whatever happens here is permanent. There's permanence in the Ten of Pentacles. There's permanence in an Ace of Cups, I feel, for some bringing forward new life. There's permanence in this Four of Wands. Um, it's strong as well. Someone's foundation is going to be so strong. There's no tampering with it. And it's like, that's a blow to someone's ego. There, it's like an ego death happening here. Okay. And the divine did this to temper things out. And there's a lot of protection here on whatever is meant to come to pass. Judgment. It's final. Dang. Something here is already in the works. Three of Pentacles. This is teamwork with the Eight of Pentacles. It's teamwork. Somebody here might need to be a little bit flexible for these changes. I really feel it's family. Someone's here, their family could have worked hard generation after generation after generation. It's like... We've all... like I'm just getting like these worker bees. It's like we all had some part to play in generating this honey right they they're not gonna have some 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 you know mess that up and i'm telling you someone is just sat thinking about what they did with someone's either connections family i feel this level of like stability and um like i feel a correct like calm very sweet hard working just grounded, you know, background in a person. And someone had this in a partner and they completely ruined it. It's like they completely sabotaged what that could have been for them. Um, and it's like they never stepped up, but they always kind of lingered. So now it's like a real kick in the face when they see somebody do what they could have done. Um, for some of you, it wasn't directly family and family or watching someone else be a parent to a child maybe something like that it could also just be a friend like sitting back and watching their friend do all the things that they wish they stepped up to do in maybe their 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 baby mom or baby dad's life like i feel this weird competitiveness and i just see this sulking i'm feeling sorry for myself type of bs but like i'm sorry 
Why do you wait for someone to do what you should have long done and do right by a person or your children? Like, I know I'm going to trigger some people in here, but damn. It's like, why did it take for someone else here to come and do your job, basically, for you to realize that you were wrong? Like, yeah, four of coins is here. Ugh miser energy i'm getting a selfish energy here whoever this person is could be probably very selfish um controlling closed off yeah they weren't very kind they didn't want to share their abundance or their i just get this like i'm also getting like a grown man child energy or a grown woman child energy like just immature they're not mature enough to exchange, give and receive with not even their youngins, yo. Damn. Something here is off. It's the kind of person that's like, well, instead of like working hard and, and building something much like a team, I'm going to sit on something instead and I'm not going to share it. I'm not, it's the mindset. Someone's mindset is trash. Like I'm feeling it off this card. It's like here. There's a level of flexibility, there's teamwork, there is teaching, you know, my children, my children's children, how to do this and help themselves and learn to be a part of a team and work hard in life and use your creativity to your advantage. And then you have somebody here who just sits on stuff. It's like, I'm holding on to these coins. There's a level of like sloth energy here. There could be laziness here. I'm feeling so much, guys. And it's like, no freaking wonder no wonder you're making it it's like <laughs> something about making it easy for the cleanup woman or the cleanup man it's like you're making it easy for your ass to get replaced like look at how you're acting some of you might also just be very grumpy and like repelling to people and you're surprised like i don't know y'all i don't know <laughs> forgive me if i'm offending someone here but it's like what did you think was going to happen and I'm hearing ample opportunity. I keep hearing ample opportunity. They had ample opportunity to correct their wrongs. When this tower blows, yo, and I just see this, like, bloop, bloop. Page of Cups. I'm seeing some of swimmers. Someone here might feel like they owe a person an apology, but it'll be too late. I almost feel like someone wants to do right by something, but this angel is like, yeah, I knew you would come to this place where you might want to rectify a situation to make your wrongs right. But I feel a level of like, by then, a lot could have transpired. Someone could have also told a person their fate. With this high priestess here, it's like, if you continue down this path, this tower is coming for you. Like, this uprooting will happen. I feel like they've been warned, y'all. Yeah, the hangman. Like, that's like, your situation will get sacrificed. Yes, you're bringing more burdens in your life by acting this way, by being this stubborn. I feel like this person had wise counsel. And you see how this older person here is like ah, can i offer my cup and can i be nice it's like yeah you're by the time you grow up it's like time has passed i just see somebody like being like light years ahead and my light is as is acting out again it's like someone is way like ahead this person it's like by the time you have it in you to realize your wrongs, apologize and be a good person. I would have either married, remarried, have three more children on the way from somebody else. Like there's something about that here that's so thick, y'all. It's like someone's level of maturity is here. And by the time it reaches to a point where they can just be like, can I apologize? And it's like, bro, sis, do you know how, how long it took you to smell the coffee and realizing how... You acted here. I'm telling you, someone is just. That's justice, y'all. The scales are being balanced. Someone is not, and quickly. 
<laughs> quick. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, quickly, these scales are going to get balanced. <laughs> I just see somebody so taken aback. There's something about a person being so shocked at how easily replaced they are, yeah? And it's not about being replaceable or not. It's like, how did you conduct yourself? Does it make sense for somebody to just detach and be like, I don't want this anymore. I want better for myself. Can you blame them? Like, really humble yourself and just ask. It's like, I just see somebody so dumbfounded at how replaceable they are. But it's like, really like tally up everything you've done. I'm just seeing somebody like a huge phony, y'all. And they pretend otherwise. I can feel it strongly. Most of this was channeling. You are good enough. I feel like someone here, this might hit their self-esteem. And it's like, hmm. <laughs> while on one hand, I understand you have your own journey to go down. This person has realized, whoever this person is, okay? It's like they've reached a sense of self-respect where it's like, I just don't, I'm, I'm better than this. I'm good enough for better. Everybody here had a self-worth lesson to go and explore. And I feel like this person who was on some kind of high horse or was egotistical or arrogant in some way, it's like their ish is going to get shot. But it's like, I just feel a humbling experience. Something they might be forced to let go of as well is here. It's like they wanted all control, but there was a level of obnoxious in that level of control. And it's like, yeah, you are good enough for great things, but you have to acknowledge certain things that you've either done, the role you've played in someone's life. Balance spirituality and practicality. I feel there was an imbalance here. There's an, there wasn't, it's, it came in the reverse. There was an imbalance between your spiritual health and your like practical behavior and day-to-day -day tasks. There was a huge imbalance in that. I don't know why I feel like I'm speaking to this person directly, yo. Golly gee, okay. <laughs> hate to be the bearer of bad news but i am but i am and i'm like i'm just i really feel like i'm talking to that person it's like i mean damn mm. yeah i feel like i am and i pissed them off Ew. i feel like i'm losing my mind i pissed them off they're not Breathe with me now. This is someone who's ex. Okay. Yeah, man. They they fight. They're 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 not they're no bueno. Yeah, look, and they're plotting. This is someone's karmic, and I don't like using that word, but this is someone who out of rage, like this tower falling on their head, is not a good one. For some of you, there's a there's a. There's a, a way they've abused their power that is now backfiring onto them. They're angry, y'all. What did I say something about the family lineage or something? You see this? What did I say about like a single parent and stuff? Splitting of... of mm -hmm. Someone also warned them. Like, if you continue down this road, there's a lot of misfortune. Uh-huh. Did I say something about, like, a pregnancy? There's something that is indicative of this person's worst nightmare. Somebody here could have tried to get pregnant or something like that, or there's something coming out regarding a pregnancy. I said, too, maybe news. And what did I say about somebody, like, maybe being, like, upset that they hear someone's pregnant? Like, I got some BS like that, y'all. It's like they're either angry that someone is, like, procreating and settling down with somebody, or... There's something they've plotted in this that has backfired miserably or will backfire. Yeah, the doctor, maybe somebody needs to get a checkup or somebody needs to get verified. Or this could be something to do with a test, a paternity test. Like I'm seeing the doctor. A doctor's visit is of utmost importance. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing somebody mad. And I'm seeing a plot or a plan. What in the Jerry Springer is going on? Lies, camera action. Something could be put on display. Or somebody is going to see a person for being a liar. A lot of evil eye here. Mm. 
I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's like somebody it's like they don't have anybody to be mad at but themselves. Like that's how it feels. That's literally how it feels. Somebody has nobody to be mad at but themselves. Look, I'm split I'm grabbing a deck. I see envy. Somebody here could have done a lot of craziness out of envy. Um, and it's like, no, the divine is the, the divine has the last word here. They're very mad. Very mad. Very mad. They're they feel abandoned in a way. <sighs> Orphaned, okay. There's a lack of belongingness to the sea. They're literally I'm getting this energy of like express shipping. Somebody here is getting shipped out of a situation. They're asking why, but that's when they need to turn to God. It's like, why did this happen? Why is this written in the cards for me? Yeah? It's like they got mad. I feel like this person had a reading done, y'all. <laughs> and they're like, why is that written in the cards for me? And when they really just sit with themselves and they really figure it out, I just see somebody very upset. Yeah? They feel like there's no place anymore for them. They're getting almost encouraged to transition away and for some of you this is for your betterment if you feel like you're in a boat where you all of a sudden feel replaced or something like that and i mean there's always more specific to things so don't take that part if it doesn't apply to you but there's a transition happening that is spiritually led okay you have to trust it if you go against it like this person did all kinds of weird stuff you're only gonna like harm yourself in the meantime learn to flow with the current this is someone who's heavily in their emotions. They're upset. They're crying. I said something about drinking to the news of somebody expanding, marrying. Da, da, da. Why do you want to be that person? Why would you want? Why would anybody want to be that person? This is a forced transition, and to them they feel replaced. But it's like if it wasn't meant for you, and maybe you didn't handle something with care either. It is what it is. Like yin. Did I just say about something not being for you? Not for you. Yin is learn to be receptive. Learn to have things come to you. You're Learn to feel things out intuitively. And just like yin is receptivity. It is not being forceful. I see somebody getting upset because it's like, you know, last time we checked, the divine handles this bus. And it's like they're forcing a direction when... The current was going to sweep them out anyway. Because it's not for you. They're playing, you know, checkers with people who play chess. And by that I mean, you can't play checkers with the divine. This is giving checkmate. And I'm telling you, nothing this person can do can stop this. And they're so irate and they feel sad that something is... Lit I'm just getting shipped out. It's giving express shipping. Somebody's ass is getting shipped out of a situation. I don't know how. But there's so much movement here. And it's in a sad place. But it's like... If they really just sit with themselves, contemplate their actions, they would get it. They would get why the divine intervened. They would get why the divine did this. I almost feel like the Ten of Pentacles was for them. That's the worst part. This was secured for them. There's something they did along the way, y'all, that completely changed their fate. And that's why this old, I feel it could have been an old spiritual person, said, listen, if you keep this up, this facade, this behavior, you're going to have issues. Some of you could, you know, have to move abruptly with this marshaled energy. Happy in the reverse here and now they're right there there's a level of just like what's going to happen to my life now learn to like accept things for what they are at times don't be so this feels like somebody who went against the divine with something that was never really ordained for them anyway or they they abused it i'm telling you this ego death feels intense it feels intense this ego death is is painful this is a karmic's ego death, y'all. 
4949 as I said that I'm going to leave it here if this reading resonated please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye